Frontier Developments have shared details on the next update, update 1.6, for F1 Manager 23. In this video, I'm going to go through the proposed notes and what they say they're going to be working on in the future. Please don't forget, hit that like button, guys, and subscribe down below for more F1 Manager 23 content. Let's get into the notes. So first of all, they go right ahead and say the exact date isn't announced yet, but it will be late August, and that this is a significant patch, and they're happy to confirm that team switching will be included in this update which is fantastic we all want this so update 1.6 changes team switching feature added expand your legacy across the whole paddock by choosing to manage a new team at the end of a season i think that's going to add such longevity to the game i'm wondering how fully featured it's going to be when it arrives are other teams going to come in for you or are you just going to choose simply i've been managing ferrari for a few seasons now I want to go manage Mercedes or are they going to headhunt you and things like that we'll see in due course no doubt but either way it's a really welcome addition because once you've built one team up you can choose to go to another and start again but continue on in the same save some teams have had their season objectives adjusted and this is for new saves only the uh, Mercedes initial objective instead of second is third and the constructors championship target is 20 25, not 24. Alfa Romeo instead of 7th, it's now 8th. And Alfa Tauri instead of 7th, it's now 8th. I don't mind those. I mean, I've, I've, I'm doing the Alfa Romeo uh, sort of challenge myself at the minute. And it is a bit of a challenge. It's good fun, though. It's good fun to do. And it's t certainly sort of doable. And it does add a bit of challenge to it. But it's still going to be difficult to get those teams up more in this season's game, I think. Fixed uh, an issue with automatic mode in qualifying, not using drive commands in an optimal way. That, I guess, is to do with tie heating and things. But we'll see in the f future notes. Fixed an issue with the focus slider settings not providing expected results in car park research projects. The only only research one I've actually noticed is when you get the email to say that research has been completed on something it says that no progress has been made so I'm not sure if that is to do with that or something else let me know down in the comments because um, I can't say I particularly noticed when I'm actually using the focus sliders doing the research project that stuff isn't happening. So is that literally when you're commencing the research project? I'm not sure. But I can't say I've noticed that unless I've not really take much, uh, took much notice of it myself. Uh, fixed an issue with AI teams only using one tire compound after mid-session save. I've not done any mid-session saves, but um, it's good that that's fixed. And fixed widescreen UI. Following topics are under investigation. Balance of track grip impact on lap times. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. But is it overpowered at the minute or is it underpowered? I'm not sure. I mean, I always try and run as late as possible in a session anyway. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure. What have you guys noticed there? Unfair penalties. I don't think that needs to be explained really, does it? it it's pretty atrocious at the minute with what's going on with the penalties. Issues with cars colliding with static cars on track. Seen this a few times in my uh, play where there's a car basically parked up and it seems like your car aims for it. It's a bit, it's a bit crazy and new balance of avoiding high risk curbs tactic now i think i've seen some posts about that where people are basically abusing that to avoid overheating or overly wearing the tires or something like that i'm not entirely sure of it because when i see things like that i never i never use them because it, it's clearly a bit of a blag a bit of a a bit of a exploit so i just never do them anyway so i sort of read a thing about that and then just disregarded it um and the following are resolved and as intended race start balance our investigation into the race start behavior confirms that the ai has no inherent advantage over the player and can only gain an edge by pushing hard with the same strategic tactical options available to the player players can work to counter this setting you know i'm not even going to go into that because it didn't seem like an issue to me anyway because at the start of the race they're going to be going for it aren't they i mean you guys could think differently but it's very easy to counter it's very easy to counter just with your own settings you know to keep up with them it's just, i think it's just a bit jarring if you're coming from f1 manager 22 right but overall that's a good quality of life update i think 
with the addition of team switching, which is super, super welcome. Um, what would you like to see addressed in the game? Is there something you'd like to see? For me, I'd like to see AI drivers slow down more on worn tires. For me, they seem to be able to keep at a pace the players can't when their tires are very, very worn. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but it feels like when maybe the AI are 25% or less, they can still bang in ridiculous laps when, as a player, we just can't. But I'd love to know your thoughts, guys. What would you like to see? Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.